What's good everyone, Dave here and welcome to Palm Springs. This city of about 44,000 people is best known for its mid-century architecture. What I've discovered over the last few days that I've been here, it's got some great shopping and great eating as well. But outside of architecture, shopping, eating, what else is there to see and do in Palm Springs? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three things you can do in Palm Springs and the area. Before we get into the video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, please consider subscribing, and please consider sharing. First off, the Palm Springs Village Street Festival. This approximate three block festival runs on Palm Canyon Drive every Thursday night in the heart of downtown. There's tons of food vendors, entertainment, artists, and crafts for the whole family. Definitely worth checking out on a Thursday night. With just a few vendors, the weekly event started in 1991 to help revitalize the downtown core. At time of filming in February 2020, the festival has grown to include dozens and dozens of unique vendors. You'll find a variety of food options, so bring your appetite. There's also lots of unique arts, crafts, jewelry, clothing, and more from independent vendors, as well as from some of the local shops. Plus, there's also street entertainment, and in addition, museums in downtown are free during the evening of the street festival. Check the description for more details on the Palm Springs Village Street Festival. If you're interested in getting outdoors and experiencing some of the local nature, the Palm Springs area has dozens of hiking trails available. One of the closest trails is about 5 to 10 minutes from downtown, the Tequiche Canyon Trail. Located on the Agua Caliente Band of Cahuilla Indians Reservation, this 3km hike loops back at the Tequiche Canyon Falls. The elevation change along the trail is about 106 meters, and the website, which is linked below, categorizes the hike as strenuous. However, in my opinion, I didn't think it was that strenuous at all, especially if you're in good health. However, always listen to your body and be aware of your surroundings. The Tequiche Canyon Trail is accessed from the visitor center, where you pay the entrance fee. When I was there in February 2020, the cost per person was $12.50 US. About an hour's drive outside of Palm Springs is Joshua Tree National Park. This 3,200 square kilometer park is home to the Joshua Tree, which is only found in parts of California, Nevada, Arizona, and Utah. The park itself is made up of two deserts, the Mojave and Colorado Deserts. There are three main entrances to the park, two along the north side and one along the south side. I'd suggest entering the park from one of the north entrances, either at the Joshua Tree Visitor Center or the Oasis Visitor Center, as a majority of the points of interest are located in the northern portion of the park. At the visitor centers, you can pick up maps, souvenirs, get some recommendations for park staff, as well as pay your entrance fee and avoid the lineup at the entrance stations into the park. As you drive through Joshua Tree National Park, there are lots of areas to stop, get out, explore, and take in the stunning scenery, get a close-up look at the Joshua Trees and the amazing rock formations. Some of the other activities you can do in the park include camping, horseback riding, biking, hiking, rock climbing, just to name a few. Check the website in the description for more information. With an average daily temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius during the winter months and almost 270 sunny days per year, Palm Springs makes a great destination for those that want a break from a cold winter and to soak up some warm winter sunshine. And there you have it, three things to consider doing in the Palm Springs area. Hiking the Tequiche Trail, which is just five to 10 minutes outside of downtown, checking out the Palm Springs Street Festival every Thursday night, or getting further out of town and visiting the Joshua Tree National Park. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, please consider subscribing, and please consider sharing it. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love.